I call it my little eviction notice. Talisha Bautista has been living at the homeless encampment off South Oceanside Boulevard for four months until she woke up to this notice taped on her tent last week. The city of Oceanside will conduct a cleanup of the area, including the removal of all individuals' personal property, encampments, junk, trash, and debris. The notice came after Oceanside City Council passed an anti-camping ordinance and emergency motel voucher program at last week's council meeting. The encampment that has over 30 tents and dozens of people living in it will now get some extra time before it is cleared out and while motel vouchers are secured. Yeah, it's been extended, you know, until we can get the vouchers, um, you know, in and, and get people transported to the places they need to be. Um, but I really can't comment you know, on future police operations, so I really don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Tom Bussey is the public information officer for Oceanside Police Department. He says the city is working to get the people living at the encampment motel vouchers and supportive services. But Bautista said she last heard there were only 30 motel vouchers available. There's more than 30 people here. There's more than 30 tents right here. So now that's concerning because who gets to have those rooms? How do you figure out who's going to have that? Although the vouchers offer a temporary shelter, the encampment highlights the need for permanent homeless shelters in North County. I do know that the city is looking for a place, or maybe they have a place already, uh, to house some homeless people temporarily. In the meantime, Bussy would not comment on how many vouchers will be provided or when the encampment will be cleared out. In Oceanside, Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.